What's up, everybody? We are over on World Flipper today to take a look at my Eclair Power Flip team. But before we do that, I do want to point out something here. On the 8th, which is tomorrow, we have a dark portal. It's going to show up. Rolf's banner is going to go away. This dark element portal is going to show up. Now, I know most of you know not to summon on this. This is something that is just here as a filler for when Beretta releases. But if you are a new player, if you are new and you're wondering if you should pull on this, if you're brand new to the game and you're coming in here looking at this banner, this is the first banner you see when you open up the game. Please don't summon. We have one of the best units in the game coming out in literally a week. So this banner is running from the 8th to the 14th. We're going to be getting Breda on that banner. Please save your beads. I know most of you know to do this, but for the new players out there that are watching this and just wanting to summon just a few more days, I promise you'll get a very good banner. Don't summon on this. This is a waste of your beads. Don't do it. Also, quickly, we are getting 700 beads. So along with Beretta's banner, we do get this Neon Skyline event. And this is going to be this little countdown event to log in, get 700 beads from now until when the event slash the Beretta banner drops. So pretty cool. Just wanted to cover that quickly. We are now going to hop on over and take a look at the team. Many of you guys have been talking to me about an Eclair team and what I would put together for an Eclair team. And knowing myself when I Got Eclair. Eclair was actually my first five star I ever pulled. It was Eclair and then Sweezen. No clue of the tier list, no clue of what is working now, what's going to be good later. I just was, I was just oblivious to what I had done to myself in starting the game that way. So I finally put together an Eclair Power Flip team. And what I did is if we go on over to the team, I wanted to experiment with the Gauntlet of the King the Fire weapon that comes from that golem ex it's going to be giving power flip damage per fire unit on the team now what's weird is if you try to make a light team that's outside of fever and outside of skill damage it's a very very bad time because there is not a lot of weapon choices if you're even if you are summoning on the weapon banner you're not going to be having a good time right now it just doesn't really work so what I wanted to do was I wanted to take the Eclair, and if you don't know what Eclair does, I want to show you guys really quick. Eclair's leader skill is going to be while HP for light units. Remember that this is specifically for light units, and there's a whole bunch of fire units you just saw on this team. You're going to get 115% to attack for that unit. The only two light units that we have that are going to be really hitting is Ralzelt and Eclair. Ralzelt is not a damage unit. He is a tanky boy. So the primary focus of this team is just to increase power flip damage and give it all to Claire. That's what I was hoping going into this. That was the idea. So we have a Claire's abilities here are going to be giving us bonuses while we are above a certain HP threshold, which on her ability one and three, it is 80%. So her ability one, 75% attack to her specifically when she is above that HP threshold. And then her ability three in that main slot, she is going to be getting 80% attack for light units, which we don't really care about because, I mean, we do care, but it's specifically 80% more attack for Eclair. She also has the ability to stack attack while HP is recovering. So this is going to be triggered by the Karina, which we will which I'll show in a second. It's really cool about Eclair as of right now and just this is part of who she is, is she has a skill wait time of 310, which is extremely low. And if you guys have maxed out the mana board for Eclair, you know that that was a nightmare because it costs a lot of T4 materials. So you're paying for this ability to have a very low cooldown on your skill and pairing her with Rolf here because Rolf is increasing power flip damage and he's a fire unit for that gauntlet. So the gauntlet's triggering per fire unit on the team. We go here, we have while Pierce is active, both Rolf and Eclair give Pierce, so it's kind of redundant there. But we have the Pierce is active, 20% attack for this unit and 40% attack to Eclair. So this whole team is trying to just up damage for Eclair, trigger Eclair's ability to heal and generate attack, which is what Karina is here for. Karina is going to be just healing, triggering those abilities. We go ahead, we have that recovery for light units, and then she's gonna be for her ability too, is when HP is recovered by light units, two and a half percent to attack for that unit. We have this weapon here on Ralzelt because there's not a lot of power flip 
weapons that can be generically used. I mean, there are, but you're not going to be happy using most of them. So we put this on him. This is going to be just giving wind resistance, but we don't care about that. It's every five times a unit power flips, we're going to get 10% to power flip damage up to a maximum of 100. And since Ralzelt isn't going to be doing the damage here, he's just holding this item to give that damage over to Eclair. So that was the idea with this. And with Karina healing, Ralzelt kind of complements this in almost a perfect way. So if you guys don't know what Ralzelt does, he has the first ability of HP for another unit is above 80%, which we just saw. It's what a lot of Eclair's abilities say. We're going to give 60% to attack for that unit. So this guy goes hand in hand with how Eclair wants to work. He's going to be buffing her while she stays healthy. And then every time damage is taken for this unit, we're going to give attack up to the party. And then while this unit is the main unit, he is going to take damage in place of everybody else. And then he's going to be giving 80% to dark resistance for this unit and HP plus 30%. So with this whole team doing what it does, the result is going to be soaking up the damage that Eclair would take. I mean, sure, Clyde's here, but we just care about Eclair staying healthy. With Ralzelt taking all of that damage, it is going to allow Eclair to maintain that 80% or above threshold, thus allowing Eclair to continuously output damage that every other one of these units and herself is giving her. So power flip, attack, it's just all to help her. This team is literally just Eclair and Rolf. <laughs> That's all it is. And then we have the fun column, which is Clyde and Noeen. Clyde is literally just a power flip damage monster. He has ability one, which is just straight up 25% to power flip damage. Just that's what it does. Ability two is while attack buffs are active, which he does get from his skill. This is going to be giving an extra 50%. So that's 75% power flip right there. And then his ability three, when he's in that main slot, which he is on this team, we have a minus three count to power flip level three, and then this is going to be giving 40% to power flip damage. And we don't care about him doing the power flips. This is all for Eclair and Rolf over there on the other side of the team. This is just strictly to buff that. And then we have Noeen. Noeen's unison abilities, her ability one and two, is going to be 10% to the time buffs are active for fire units. And then a skill is activated by a fire unit, plus 5% attack for the leader, up to a maximum of 50% reach power flip level 3 with a combo of minus 2. So, so what's cool here is when we have the fire skills going off, player is going to get the bonus. So that was the whole reason that this column is here, is just to give a big increase to power flip damage, and then to also give the attack increase that Noeen provides here. You can also just run like Gilsrad. Like Gilsrad just straight up gives you more power flip damage in the back row. You don't need New Year's Noeen. So I want to show you guys a run that I took this team into. Just It's just a Necropolis run with this, but it was kind of fun. This team is a million times better when Beretta comes out. I mean, you'll see once Beretta comes out and you have Beretta and Eclair and you're using them on the same team, you're going to be like, oh my goodness. I am just doing this fun little off meta shenanigans. Just in the meantime, this is a just a quick way to make Eclair shine in a weird way. It's a team that's geared toward buffing her up in a way that probably wasn't meant to be like this, but this is what I threw together. So we're going to hop over to the run and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I have the Dark Necropolis run up here. I went into the level 70 version with this Eclair team. Just want to show you guys how it works. The team doesn't have any crazy skill gauge charge. You're not going to be popping your skills right away, but you're going to build up a little combo. You're going to get that level three power flip, and we're going to do 900,000 right out the gate with Eclair. Feels pretty good. As long as Eclair is staying healthy, which is why Ralzelt, I feel, is so important to absorb the damage that Eclair would take and maintain that attack buff on her, it is going to feel pretty good. And it would be smarter to play this manual build up combos and try to dodge the flippers for as long as you can, to, or at least till you hit that power flip level three, and then you can go ahead and continue. I mean, this team just sweeps through this with no problem. We have Karina healing. We have Ralzelt granting recover. He's absorbing damage. He's buffing. We have the power flip damage. And we have the heal from Noeen. Like, there's a lot going on here that's all oddly working together pretty well, especially with the gauntlet on Eclair and the three fire units giving that bonus. I know it's not the maximum bonus those weapons could have. In this odd situation with this team I'm trying to run, it works very nicely take down the second boss and then we just hop on over to i think it was orochi is the third boss in this one yeah even though this is a power flip team and you want to build up combos hit those power flip levels the educational pierce that that first column provides is nice because you can fly through any obstacles at the breakpoints and as you can see here 
we just took that beam to the face and Ralzelt ate that whole shot and Eclair is still just doing what Eclair is supposed to do on this team. Just deal her damage, get the job done. You don't care that Ralzelt's getting weak. That's what he's supposed to do. So that's how the team works. It's very fun. But once Beretta comes out, Beretta is a much better option to have on that team than a really random fire column because we're also going to get armaments that change and help the team out. It's just, it's a whole different story. But for a fun little Eclair off-meta team that works pretty okay, I like this one a lot. And we had the 3 minute and 49 second run, which isn't terrible. It's not super crazy fast, but for an Eclair team that's a little faster than I expected, I thought it was going to be like a 4 to 5 minute run, like high 4 minutes. But yeah, this is it. This is it for my little look at an Eclair team. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching this video. If you guys are new here and looking forward to more World Flipper content, gotcha content all around, hit that sub button. And remember, guys, if you hit that thumbs up, I'll bring my rates up. Peace, guys.